can we not live toward the supreme reality ourselves? I will begin answering this question with a few questions. If we give books to a little child and tell the child, learn on your own, can the child do that? If we give a bat or a racket to someone and say, play a sport, How well can that person play? How can you do things that you have no knowledge about? How can you do things unknown to you? People become very confident that they can do some things on their own when they are extensions of what they are already doing. When you are adding another layer on top of what already exists, when you are projecting, when you are projecting from what is existing, human mind only has faculties of projection from the past. Whatever it did earlier, it can improve upon that. It can project and grow a skill. It can project and grow knowledge. Human mind cannot perceive anything that is not on a projection from what it already knows. The Supreme Reality does not exist on any projection of the mind, on any known within the mind. That is why it is mysterious. That is why the people who come to know about it are called mystics. The process toward it requires an open mind, an empty mind. Until a mind is open, you cannot empty it. And until a mind is completely empty, it cannot grasp the Supreme Reality. Even if one thought from the past is there in the mind, it will try to judge reason against truth or try to grasp truth from an earlier experience or perspective. And that is not truth. Within the mind are a lot of beliefs. All beliefs have to end. All patterns and ways of thinking have to end. A new revelation has to replace what you already know about it. And such a revelation has to come from mystics, from personal experiences of mystics, not from books, not from scriptures, not, not from comments of people who pondered over what exists and, and tried to grow it further. So how can you do it on your own? 
when we do not know where to go where will we go when we do not know how to go to a destination we do not know about how will we go there what people call the supreme reality is actually not what the mystics know it is a concept of the mind it is an understanding of the mind it is gathered from here and there it is of no use in real seeking so this question has no basis this question only shows resistance of the mind to accept the supreme reality this question should end and be replaced with complete acceptance what kind of acceptance that i do not know and i cannot know the supreme reality without meeting someone who is experienced who gives me a new clarity and a way to go there